Hey there, I'm Arrozi and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as Ireland. So, this is probably going to be the last part. I forgot that I'm actually going to get a great engineer from my level 3 tenet. So, I won't really have to wait for my last spaceship part. I just need to get nanotechnology, which I should get in 18 turns, maybe a little bit faster than that. Yeah, Ram thinks I'm weak, <laughs> but he's busy. He's still at war. I want to keep him at war because otherwise he might go after me and that would be pretty bad <laughs> he has quite a few nukes i wouldn't want him to nuke my capital or something like that i did queue up some bomb shelters in case he does declare war on me but i'll try to prevent that by keeping him at war why did i move out of the city with that rocket artillery <laughs> all right out of the part okay production oh yeah pyongyang what do I need in here? Another bomb shelter? Yeah, I think so. And an arsenal after that? Sure. Just to get some extra defenses. Nothing else really matters at this point. I don't need more research. My economy is fine. My happiness is fine. So I might as well work on my defenses. You know, just in case. So, Let's see. Barracks. Arsenal. Tempo. I could get barracks and then armory and then some units possibly right let's get the barracks then what about Busan? granary archaeduct castle i'll get that castle a little bit faster maybe i don't think i'll actually need that observatory so let's get the castle first maybe i can finish observatory after that but i'm pretty sure i won't actually need that observatory Open borders with Askia? Yeah, sure. I can buy that. I will get a great scientist in 12 turns, and then I'll also get a research agreement in how many? In 17. So I should get nanotechnology in 17 turns easily, maybe even faster than that. And I will get my level 3 tenet in 2 turns. So that's nice. Repair this. And the cargo ship. No, that's definitely not the best shade route here. That's better. Production. Oh yeah, armory now. And then I can grab a few units. Perhaps. Oh, maybe I should get a hotel. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I could just buy a hotel. <laughs> nah. No need to buy it. Okay, next. Do I need one more workboat here? Yes, I do. I need two more workabouts from the looks of it. Yes. Okay, we'll fix that. Come on. Is Ram still at war? Yes, he is. With Askia and Morocco. I'll try to get him to declare war on Spain again. Once he's done with this war. Or I can get Spain to declare war on him. They might still have a peace treaty. No, not anymore. Okay, Spain will declare war. And they aren't even asking for a whole lot. I don't think they value iron or horses at this point. No, I could give them some oil. I don't actually mind. Yeah, okay, let's give them some oil. Free oil. Four. And they declared war. Nice. That will keep Ram busy. So, he won't get any silly ideas, hopefully. Repair some more improvements. Once I'm done with the spaceship parts, I'll just build bomb shelters in all my core cities. Just in case. And once I'm done with bomb shelters, I'll just get some extra units, I suppose. Oh, Ethiopia declared war, but on Askia. Yeah, that doesn't really matter, because Askia isn't strong enough. I want Ethiopia to declare war on Morocco, or other way around. But I don't think that's going to happen. Not that it really matters all that much, I'm going to win this game in 20 turns, or faster than that even. But let's try anyway. For fun. Oh, he will actually do it, but he's asking for a lot. Yeah. I'm not going to accept a deal like that. That's not even remotely close to reasonable. Alright, now I can get Spaceflight Pioneers. 
which will give me a great engineer. So that's exactly what I needed. For leader, I'll vote for myself, like this. And there's my great engineer. He's just going to chill in Dublin. And also a great scientist. So I'll pop the great scientist. And nanotechnology in 14 turns, probably. Yeah, because that's the research agreement. Repair this. I finished another oil well. There's another spaceship part. Oh yeah, I can't move into Dublin with a great engineer in there. Another shader out. To Casablanca. And next. So, one more turn for Armory. Castle is almost done. I might get some fighters and the bombers. I still don't think Ram is going to declare war on me. But... It's possible. I mean... If I didn't get him to declare war on other AIs, he would probably go after me. Because he really hates me. And he's been quite aggressive and he went for autocracy. And he's much stronger than me. That's the reason why I started all these wars. To keep him busy. But he won't declare war on me as long as he's at war with others. At least he probably won't. It's not totally impossible. But it's unlikely. Okay, I'll just move that great general to Cork or something. He can stay there. Alright. So, one more turn for another booster. And one turn for booster in Waterford. And then I'll get the engine in six turns. Okay. I think this game will be done in 15 turns. So it will actually be done before turn 500. Not bad. Am I the tech leader now? Or am I still one tech behind Ethiopia? Yeah, I'm one tech behind Ethiopia. Which doesn't really matter all that much. Okay. Any more roads to remove? No. I don't need to repair these improvements to the south because they are out of range of my city. Oh yeah, I need to move to Dublin manually. Which is okay. So, Bosan. Let's see, observatory? Yeah, I won't need that observatory, but I'll let it finish anyway. Because why not? Tool. Arsenal. Sure. Askia denounce Ram. I don't think Ram cares or the, all that much. He probably doesn't. Well, there is some action. That's good to see. That the war is not just on paper. And they are actually attacking each other. I'm hoping they will nuke each other a little bit more. Ram already nuked Spain. So Spain will definitely nuke Ram if they can actually get any nukes. I'm not sure if Spain has any uranium. Yes, they do. No, they don't actually. But if they get the nuke, they will definitely nuke Ram back. Oh, yeah, more nukes happened. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. I don't think Spain stands a chance unless they get their own nukes. Which is probably not going to happen now. Can I get Ethiopia to declare war on Ram? Probably not. But this is the reason why I want to keep Ram busy. He's going crazy with nukes. I don't want him to nuke me. Declare war on Ethiopia. I would pay a lot to make that war happen. I would pay the price Morocco was asking me. Because Ram is the only AI that could actually threaten my, my victory. If he attacks me. If he launches a mass attack on Dublin and nukes Dublin. That could actually threaten my victory. Or it would delay it significantly. I would probably still win. But it would take longer. Alright, there's the poster. 
Next. Ten more turns. He would have to destroy my spaceship parts. Once I add all of these, there's nothing he will be able to do. Other than maybe capturing my capital and killing my great engineer, he would have to kill my great engineer. So this guy, yeah, help with these repairs. Oh, this is already repaired apparently. Okay. Add this. Alright. We're almost done. This was quite an exciting game, I have to say. But I hope to not see Korea in my next game. Because it's not fun playing against Korea in every single game. So I do hope that won't happen in the next one. Still, it was fun to actually win against Korea. Oh yeah, I can remove that railroad. Are the spaceship part on the next turn. I'm just waiting for that last research element. That's pretty much what I'm doing at this point. And keeping an eye on Ram. Yeah, Ram is just at war with Spain now. Yeah. Once he's done with that war, he might actually attack me. It's certainly not impossible. And I know he was plotting against me earlier. Right, I'm working on the bomb shelters. Nothing else I can do with these workers? No, we're pretty much done here. So add this, add this, and now I have all the parts except the stasis chamber. Yep, so that's the last one I need. Which means we're waiting for the research agreement. Seven turns. I can't fight by a great scientist, can I? No, I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, I actually can, alright. Well, I think this game is done then. I could have done it on the previous turn, but this is already AI turn. There's a great scientist. I just need to wait one turn to actually pop him. But that should give me nanotechnology. So this game is pretty much done. Doesn't even matter what I'm going to build here. That's irrelevant at this point. I might not get 100% production with that great engineer, so it might take a few more turns, but it will be done before 10500, that's for sure. And Ram won't get a chance to do anything. A war with Ram would actually be tough, because I'm pretty much surrounded by him. If he attacked Dublin with a lot of stuff and actually nuked Dublin, I would kind of be in trouble, probably, but I'm not going to give him a chance to do that. Okay, pop this, that gives me another technology, doesn't really matter what I'm going to research here. The internet. And... Last spaceship part. There's his chamber. And now I can rush it. That will take how many turns? Four turns. Okay, so the game will be done in four turns. Let's make it so. The last war with Spain. Spain got completely demolished. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen Ram be this aggressive with nukes before. I bet that's partially because he went for autocracy. But he's been very aggressive in this game. At least when it comes to nuke usage. He was the first AI to use nukes. I think he was the only AI to use nukes. In any case, I'm glad I managed to keep him off my back. Right, Archaeduct. Yeah, doesn't really matter what I'm going to build here.
Shema wasn't able to get Morocco to fight Ethiopia. Morocco had six nukes in Antana Banana Rivo at one point. So I was actually hoping to start a nuclear war between Ethiopia and Morocco. <laughs> that would have been fun to watch. But unfortunately it didn't happen. Oh hey, one more great artist. That's not really going to change anything, but another golden age. Yep, one more golden age. That is a little bit of extra production, but it did not speed up the spaceship part. Okay, two more turns. Let's finish this. Ethiopia is working on their own spaceship. But they are too late. How's the tech ranking now? They are still one tech ahead of me, okay. So Ethiopia is actually doing quite well. But they only completed two parts. Sejong is technically number two in the space race. Except he's gone. Korea is no more. Alright, one more turn. Build whatever. No, not settler. Not that it really matters. I could steal some land from Ram <laughs> right before I finish this game. With that great general, but I should have moved him if I wanted to do that. And that's it. Turn 495. And off we go. There's the spaceship. This was quite an interesting game. I wasn't sure if I'm actually going to win it at one point. But it was fun to beat Korea. Ethiopia was number one in pretty much everything. Yeah, Ethiopia was quite strong. Here's the ranking. And let's check out the replay. I'll check the graphs too, but I like to look at the map. Even though I know what happened, more or less. The starts were actually quite balanced, except Korea. Korea would have been much easier to beat if it wasn't for all these mountains that were protecting them. Fortunately, Pyongyang was a little bit exposed from the northwest. The Netherlands were weaker than I thought they will be. I actually didn't expect William to get wiped out. He's usually stronger than that. But I guess he had too many wars going on. Yeah, I think he settled some of his cities a little bit too aggressively. Once the others declared war on him, there's no way he could have defended these cities. Yeah. And that city to the south was aggressive. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He got wiped out very quickly too. He still had quite a few cities on turn 375. He lost most of them in a pretty short time period. He actually managed to take a city here, still. But now he will start losing them, yeah. It was Ethiopia and Ram. So he lost all of his core cities in like under 20 turns. And now he's gone. And that's it. Let's have a look at the graphs. So... What do we want to see? Unhappiness. Total culture, science per turn. Korea. That's Korea right there. Their science per turn. Well, it was actually quite big. While they were still relevant. Population. 
What else? Number of known tags. Yeah, they were obviously the leader. They were actually technically the leader for a while after they were eliminated. Not for that long, but still. Military might. Yeah, this one is funny. What's this? That's not Korea. Oh yeah, that's Spain. Yeah, but I'm just demolished Spain. Happiness. Golden Age turns. Gold per turn. What's this? Oh, that's Ethiopia, okay. Gold per turn. That's also Ethiopia, right? Because Ethiopia was number one in pretty much everything at the end. Culture per turn, that's not so interesting. And I think that's all of it. Military might. Oh yeah, I already checked that one. So, this series is done. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.